What's up everybody? I am Tyler Rogan with Power Wash Academy and today we are going to be washing a big house. I wanted to make this video just to kind of show you the steps and procedures that we take to take on a job like this. It is doable, uh, it can be intimidating if you're new to the industry, but hopefully this video will just give you some, some tips and tricks so you can get in here and start making the bigger money on the bigger homes. Um, essentially, uh, we've got a stone home, it's got a lot of stucco on it. Uh, we've got a really nice pool area that we're gonna be cleaning up. And I just wanted to walk through this real quick, show you how we're gonna get the job started. Uh, today, I've got two helpers working with me, so that's gonna speed up the process. If I really had to do this job totally on my own, it is doable. It's obviously gonna take me a little bit more time, but we've got a two day allowance to get this whole property clean. So I wanted to make sure we've got some good help and some good equipment so that we can move efficiently and get through here and get this property cleaned up. Um, the house consists of two main sections of the home. Uh, like I said, the pool area is killer. And we're gonna get out here and do a lot of algae remediation is gonna be our main concern. Um, the plants around here are plenty of plants around here. And so we're going to be obviously taking care of those to make sure we don't cause any damages, but overall we're going to break this house down into sections and make it a lot more manageable instead of being overwhelmed by having such a massive property to clean at one point in time. Uh, you can see back here, stucco primarily around the back sides. Uh, some of the stucco has been redone, and so we're going to try to get that to blend in with the areas that, that haven't been redone. Uh, a lot of cast stone, a lot of natural stone, it's all turning gray, but as you should know by now, it's going to turn out looking beautiful. Uh, we don't really have too much to be concerned with as far as things that are sketchy to work around. Not a lot of electronics, we got a few outlets and a few plants. But overall, everything can be moved around pretty easily, and I think it's gonna turn out to be a, a good chunk of work that will knock out, like I say, we're doing this in two days. And so, uh, essentially, first step is to determine where are we gonna start? How big of a chunk do we wanna bite off to begin with? And we are gonna start up in the front of the home. The homeowner prefers that we kind of be out of view, so we chose to get started on the front of the house. It's really not all that bad up there. We should be able to move pretty quickly, so, We'll come through, clean the front of the house, then move around to the back of the property or we're kind of out of the out of the line of sight. So let's walk through here real quick, um, give you a couple pointers and we'll start slinging some house wash. We've got a TV up here. Like I mentioned in the past, we always try to wrap these up. Excuse the lawn guys, it's not uncommon when you're working on a big property to be working with other contractors. So uh, we're doing our best to stay out of each other's way. So we're gonna be surface cleaning all the flat work on the property. That's gonna consist of the driveways, sidewalks, and pool deck. Uh, a lot of the home does not have growth on it, so a nice light wash and a wrench to take care of it. There have been spots around the house that I've noticed where you've got a lot of thick buildup where either a gutter runs off or uh, it just builds up more for one reason or another. So first things first, I'm gonna go through and treat those areas with a nice hot batch in a pump up sprayer. So I'll treat that, and then by the time I come around with my lighter house wash mix, it'll blend all of that in, and I won't have to sit around waiting on dwell time for that one dark spot to blend in with the areas next to it, which aren't so bad. Um, we've set up our ladder underneath this gutter. This had a big black streak on it. It's 80% of the way gone now. I really think uh, once we get that wet one more time with our soft wash unit and rinse it off, it'll turn off good. Uh, same goes for just a few corners, nooks and crannies around here in the front that had the heavy buildup. So if you can focus on those first, get those treated, let those work as you're coming back around the house, then they'll be ready for you whenever you're coming through with your soft wash mix so that you can just steadily move. You're not stopping and waiting on this one dark spot to get going. So uh, realistically for the average house wash, this one, there's two home or there's two structures. This first structure, I would say, is probably about like doing four normal house washes. And so I'm gonna treat it just like that. I'm gonna start at one seam of the house over here and wash this one back section. 
And that's one small house wash. Once that's got the desired result, we'll go ahead and move on. Um, like I say, that's a big part of it is not getting overwhelmed and not talking yourself out of taking these big jobs. Uh, there's a lot of money to be made. If you don't go out and wash this house, the next guy's gonna come in here and take it. So this would be a good one to get under your belt. And um, all you gotta do is have a little bit of courage and a little bit of know-how and it's easy money. So I say we can uh, go around and inspect a couple more spots. That was one bad area over there. Uh, we did have a little bit of growth around the, the bottoms of these. Um, one more section over here. And like I say, primarily, they're gonna be at the bottom of these gutters where either they're overflowing. I can't really tell you exactly why. I just know that's where they are. Uh, one thing I did wanna point out, I like to use a pump up sprayer uh, with a little bit stronger batch of house wash mix in it. And that just makes it to where I'm not going back and remixing my batch. I use a batch mix. Uh, if you have a proportioning system, like um, a Sidewinder system from powerwash.com, you can change that on the fly, which would be ideal. I don't have one of those quite yet, so I'm making a batch mix. And my second batch mix is a smaller pump up sprayer. Um, I am using today, this is an electric uh, sprayer. You can also use a manual pump up sprayer. Um, these pumps are great. Um, they run off of a normal uh, 18 volt battery and um, they're good to use but you, if you do get into using one of those you need to use caution because uh, I've heard many times in the past people using these backpack sprayers putting them on their backs and they go around eventually it starts leaking running down burning your skin causing all kinds of problems so if you do decide to use a pump like that keep in mind you need to inspect that thing and clean it out flush it out thoroughly after every single use and so at the end of the day today and every other day that I use it I will run some clean water through it. I'll fill up the tank about halfway. I'll put some PM in the tank, which will neutralize the SH and run it through there thoroughly for a minute or two. That's gonna help keep those seals maintained. Uh, the little filter that's inside of there, it'll keep that from crumbling and it definitely prolongs the life of your machine. But if we were at a point to where I'm doing my pre-inspection before I'm washing the house, I'm going to make sure that I don't have any leaks. If I do notice any leaks, that thing goes away and we'll get out our manual pump up sprayer, which are just fine. This is just a little bit faster. I can get a little more reach with it. The pumps in there are decent for the money. So I like to use that whenever I can. But I say, if you decide to do that, use caution, be smart about it and don't get a burn from your chemicals. So I say at this point in time, let's fire up the machines and start making some money. Well, we are just about done with the front half of this house. Everything is turning out about like I'd expected it to. Um, noticing that all of the darker areas that we had pre-treated, they blended in with the other areas. And so that was our goal. Stucco is turning out really well. And um, just gonna do a quick walkthrough before we reposition our equipment and start working on the back half. Uh, but like I say, from what I can tell so far, everything is really well blended in. We've got one, one little area here. I'll probably hit that with the pump up sprayer one more time. Um, I'll come through. Yeah, I think that's all we'll need to do. I've got one little section over here that could probably be about another shade or two lighter and that, that should all be totally uniform. So I'll soak and rinse that once more and I'm feeling pretty good about that. And as I'm doing my walkthrough, I'm noticing a couple things that I hadn't noticed before that weren't really part of the house wash, but these little small bonus cleanings that we'll provide for the customer, they go a long way. So uh, like this little water fountain feature here, hadn't really paid much attention to it, but as I stand back, I see we do have some thick green growth going on there. And I was seeing what that was made of. It kind of looked like a, a faux fountain, but judging this property, everything's probably what it appears to be. But I feel good about it up here, so confident. I'll touch up a couple spots. We can reposition and move to the back. Um, a couple of us have gone ahead and started moving the furniture off of the back porch so that we can start our surface cleaning. Uh, we'll get a lot of the 
flat work done. Before we start soaking the house, I'm gonna be going around spot cleaning, spot treating with my backpack sprayer. And that seems to be doing a good, a good job of speeding up the process, cutting down on our dwell times pretty significantly as a whole. And so we've got a lot of buildup here. Not sure what was going on. They were working on something. And so we'll need to rinse all of this off if we're gonna treat it with, uh, with our house wash mix. Get this washed off first so we can see what it is that we're working with. But um, some of these areas back here are not necessarily organic growth, but they are pretty dirty. We got a lot of this gray dust and dirt buildup. And so that's gonna be something I'm gonna wanna uh, wash. I'll probably add a little more pressure than a, a soft wash nozzle would provide, but I've got my dual lens one, so I'll crank down the pressure, hit that probably about, I don't know, 500 PSI or so. Uh, we've wrapped the TV pretty good. Uh, actually, one of the keepers of this property wrapped it for us. It's wrapped relatively good, but you can see it pulls out. And I'm gonna try to swing it out of the way to avoid the water running down in here as much as possible. I've disconnected the power from everything inside of here, from the satellite box and the TV. It's still zip tied up here, but the power is disconnected. If it gets any moisture gets in there, it should be able to dry out before they start using it again. A little electrical outlet down in here, I repositioned it and tucked it up in there. I'm not gonna spray directly in here, but there is a potential for some of this to kind of cascade down and, and run into that area. So we'll avoid that. Um, up in this corner, we've got face heaters that they're in the process of replacing and there is a potential that those are still hot wires. So that's something we're gonna definitely need to be very careful with and not spray directly on those. Fortunately back here, it's gonna be a pretty quick rinse and go on this back portion since we're not really gonna need to add any house wash mix on this stone here. We'll give it a rinse down, get all the dust off. That will brighten the stone up somewhat. And since there's not organic growth, I'm not gonna be concerned with, with spraying a house wash mix under here. That's gonna eliminate some of the concern that we'd have with getting uh, any of this wood saturated with our house wash mix, causing any discoloration. Um, I'll use this soft wash mix whenever I need it. And if not, then it's a little bit easier and a little more cost effective and a little bit safer to work with. So um, I've come through so far while we're doing other things in the front. Um, come through and I've pre-treated all of this stonework and around this pool with a fairly strong batch out of my pump up sprayer. And what I'd like to do is get those areas that have got a lot of buildup, get those treated to where they're pretty close to as clean as they're gonna get. That way when we come through and surface clean, it'll be quite a bit faster than having to soak and wait. This is already ready to go. So for the most part, this color change has already taken place. I can see some spots still need a little bit more, but after we come through and wash it, I'll just need a couple little spritzes here and there on the areas that have still got a little bit of the, the black growth. Um, I can see this stucco, I'm not certain. They said that a lot of the stucco is redone, but I can see what appears to me to be organic growth, kind of making these dark streaks going down it. And um, that's gonna definitely be soft washed. And we will get these chimneys that are up top. They've got a lot of buildup on them. What I'll probably do is for day two of this cleaning, whenever we get started on that area, I'm gonna make a stronger batch in my soft wash mix. Right now we're running about three to 4% in our batch mix. I'm gonna bump that up to about five to 6% and I'll saturate those areas and get those to where I want them to be. And then I'll fill up my tank with water and dilute that back down to a three to 4% so we can use that same batch to continue on washing the rest of the house. But I think we're doing good. Uh, this stone slide area, it was pretty black. Um, we can see the stones are a lot more orange, their natural color. And so that's looking good. We haven't actually washed or rinsed this yet. We've only backpack sprayed this thing and it does have a lot of the sticker growth on there, which the customer was okay with us leaving on there. And so uh, it gives it more of a natural aged look, but it's not all uniform gray and black. So I love it whenever they allow me to kind of use my best judgment as to how to get the best end result. I mean, it is a massive pile of rocks, which is what they were going for. And I kind of like this blotchy type of growth on there. So although we're gonna spray it and it's gonna kill it, um, it's still gonna be on there and it'll still be 
adding a little character to it, but you can see this is all this area is how it looked to begin with, all gray and black. And we have not even washed this yet, but you can see those areas on the outside, they are more orange and vibrant, which is gonna make a huge improvement for their little backyard oasis here. Whoa. And so, I think we're about ready to fire up the machine, get some surface cleaning going. Um, as one of our workers are gonna be surface cleaning, I'm gonna go around with my backpack, be hitting that more concentrated house wash spray on some of the areas that are more heavily affected. And we'll just keep moving right along. We're making good progress. At the rate that we're moving right now, we should definitely be able to complete this whole job by the end of tomorrow. And if we're working at the same pace as we are today, we should be able to get done a little bit earlier tomorrow. So looking at most likely a day and a half to do this property and we'll just keep following along with this and we'll see what kind of progress we're making. And I did want to mention, if you appreciate these videos, you're getting anything out of these videos, we would really love it if you could pay us back by just hitting the subscribe button, like the video, drop a comment. If you got any questions or comments, we're happy to answer those. And if you want to hit the bell, you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. That's pretty useful. I know that I like to watch them as soon as they come out, but I'm a washaholic, so what can I say? And uh, from this point on, time to fire up the machine and keep making money. Okay, everybody, we made it to day two. We're about to get this party started. Uh, we've got a couple more areas on the home that have got quite a bit more buildup than the rest. So we're gonna start out with those. Uh, I've got a batch mix made down on the trailer and I've got it with a nice hot mix. So I'm gonna focus on a couple of these chimneys. So you can see the stones turn black, got a decent spot on the side of the house. It's got some black. So I'm gonna soak those down with the hot mix and then I'll go back and dilute my mix down a little bit so that we can have that ready to wash the rest of the stucco. And let's take a look real quick just to get a game plan. I've already run my hoses around and brought them up. And so I uh, got my soft wash gun handy. And uh, the good thing is we've got easy access to, to this chimney. So I won't have to worry about reach being a problem. Got to kind of get a crazy angle to shoot over this roof, but I think it should be pretty easy to get to and should get some good results. So I do see some areas up here that have quite a bit of growth. Uh, we've got some green actually starting to show up, which as we know, the green stuff is what you want to look out for whenever it gets damp or wet, it can be slick, become a slip hazard. So we sure to get that all taken care of. Let's get this party started. Okay guys, we're just about done with the house wash. Got it done in just under two days. Feels good to have a big project knocked out quickly. Uh, as you recall, we did a lot of stucco cleaning, cleaned a bunch of stone, did a bunch of flat work, and uh, three guys in two days is pretty reasonable for a job like this. So uh, I do appreciate you guys watching our videos. If you're getting anything out of these videos, do us a big favor, like and subscribe, hit the bell button. We'll notify you when the next video is coming up. Appreciate y'all watching with us today. We'll see you on the next one.